Hey guys, Lieutenant Matt here with another video in the Anki add-on guide series. Today we will be covering two add-ons that can greatly enhance your workflow when adding notes to your decks. The two add-ons I want to cover specifically are the quick note and deck buttons add-on and the quick field navigation add-on. Let's start with the first one. The quick note and note type and deck buttons add-on is probably one of the most useful ones in my daily Anki use. And that's because I usually make use of at least three or four different node types and I also usually add nodes to two or three different decks concurrently. Now the issue with this in Anki is that without the add-on in order to switch between all of these different node types and decks you have to the use these buttons up here. And what they do is they present you with a selection screen where you can select the node type or deck in question. But you can imagine that doing this um, every two or three nodes can be quite annoying over time. And that's exactly where this add-on comes in. It allows you to add a number of different buttons up here that can switch between different node types and decks. And these buttons are fully configurable. You can customize their labels, you can customize the hotkeys they're assigned to. For instance, the close button up here is assigned to Alt plus one in my case. And um, you can, as I've said, you can add as many of these as you want up here, both for node type selection, but also for deck selection. The way you can customize this add-on and add your own uh, hotkeys and own buttons is as usual for Anki add-ons. You just have to go to tools, add-ons, find the add-on in question, which is the um, quick note and deck buttons in this case, click edit, and then you can edit the source code. Well, this add-on author has taken great care of providing you with a lot of inline documentation in here to explain how the buttons can be set up. All of this is explained very well, but I'll just demonstrate this in uh, with one example. For instance, let's add an additional deck button here. For this, we will just copy the existing syntax here, paste it in again, and just apply our change, changes. So for the label, let's use um, general for the general deck that we want the, to add the cards to. And the name of the deck is, in our case, one colon general. And let's also go ahead and add a additional hotkey for this so we can switch between the different decks more quickly. Um, let's see what we can use for this. Let's use alt plus four. So there you have it. That's That should be enough to uh, define that additional deck button key or deck switch button. Um, let's save this and restart Anki. And as soon as that is done, we should see a new button up here. There we go, the general button. And if I click this, then you'll see that the deck will be switched to that deck I just configured. And of course, you can also do the same then with the hotkey, which was Alt plus four in this case. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward to configure. And if you are using a lot of different node types and a lot of different decks, then this is probably one of the add-ons that you will find most useful in your daily Anki use. All right, let's go to the second add-on I wanted to cover, which is the quick field navigation add-on. This is a pretty, this is a pretty simple add-on and very straightforward add-on. What it does it is it uh, adds a number of keyboard shortcuts that allow you to navigate through uh, node types more quickly. Now this is especially important for node types like this, the close overlapping node type, that have quite a lot of different fields. And uh, what this add-on now does is allows you to navigate through each of these fields by using control plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. So just by using these hotkeys, you can switch between the different fields, switch to a different field directly, and that should save you quite a lot of time. And as you can see, there are a number of additional hotkeys also defined by this uh, add-on. You can use Control plus zero to switch the focus to the last field, or you can use Alt plus Shift plus F to switch the focus back to the node fields from the tag entry. So there's just um, a quick way to improve the navigation and make it easier to switch between different fields for longer node types. All right, guys, that's as far as this um, video was concerned. I think both of these add-ons can um, help you just streamline 
the general process of adding notes and I think you should definitely give them a try, especially the quick note and deck buttons, which as I've said before, is probably one of the most useful add-ons in my eyes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, the next video will be about formatting your note type fields. I want to cover the power format pack add-on specifically, which is probably one of the most useful add-ons out there. And I will actually dedicate the entire video to that add-on because it's just one of the most comprehensive Anki add-ons out there. All right, guys, make sure to stay tuned to this channel. Make sure to subscribe. New videos should be coming out next week. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you soon and good luck with your studies. Bye.